Hello everybody, Brad Byers here. Now I'm known for swallowing swords mostly, but when I'm not on the road swallowing swords, I'm putting things in bottles. Impossible bottles are called. Now, the glass cannot be heated up, cut in two, blown around the item inside, cannot be tampered with. And all the items in these bottles have to be usable, and they are. Now here is a Ramonet bottle with a screw inside. No way to get a screwdriver in there, yet there's a screw stuck in the wood stick. Here is a box of Dove soap, bar of Dove soap in a box, and a rubber ducky in a milk bottle. Here we have a bottle with an arrow going through it. As you can see, the holes are too small for the ends of the arrow to go through. A corkscrew screwed into the cork from the inside. A golf ball. Here's the mixed items, a tennis ball, Rubik's cube, and a polyurethane basketball and a milk bottle. Hard balls, those are baseballs. In that jar, cigarettes, pack of cigarettes. All the cigarettes are inside. There's a soft pack, seal intact. There is a box of matches right there in a little pop bottle. And here is two sealed decks of cards, cut out so you can see the cards. That is one long bolt going through both decks. Now, there's not enough room in the bottle to thread the bolt through the decks, yet there it is. Here is a vintage bottle, three-sided bottle, with three pair of scissors. A little teeny bottle with some little kid scissors in it. I think I got five pair in there. Now, this is a so Southern Comfort bottle. Look how little that opening is. Yet, there is a sealed deck of cards. And by sealed, I mean the official sticker seal is intact. Here's one you don't see too many of. This is a shoe, a women, woman's shoe, adult lady shoe, in a vintage orange juice bottle. Box of crayons. All the crayons are inside in a royal crown bottle. Look how little that opening is. Yet there's the box of crayons inside. Another bar of soap. This time it's uh, paper packaging, but it's all sealed up. As you can see. A Rubik's Cube in a half pint glass bottle. And this is my world record possible bottle. This is a Rubik's Cube in its original packaging. Now, I don't know if we can get this, if you can see it or not, but the, the wafer seal is still intact. Hope you can see that. It's hard to see because it's clear plastic or vinyl wafer seal. But there it is in the box. Inside the box is the Rubik's Cube. You can see the blue side there. It is wrapped in plastic along with a folded instruction sheet in this sealed box. Now of course it's too big to fit through the opening as with all my impossible bottles. So there you have it. Here's a sample of just some of the bottles that I make. Impossible bottles and jars. I also do impossible objects. There is a arrow possible arrow on a washer. That's one piece of wood, not glued, no joints. Uh, same idea as the arrow through the bottle. It's one piece of wood. All right, well, if you'd like to have one of these bottles, I do sell them, and I will see you at the craft fair.